Hello there, this is Craig Hain. My students call me Dr. Dell. And this may be the most important video for a private school that has students that are interested in science and engineering or STEM. And the title of this is the WA Math Miracle with question marks like, what is it? You, may, you really need to understand this if you're the leader of a school that has really good students that might be interested in STEM. Well, let me start by telling you this, the discovery of what is called the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus, I'm just gonna call it FTC, Fundamental Theorem of Calculus, back in the 1600s is what empowered modern science with Newton's Principia Mathematica, and that is what launched, of course, our modern civilization. We wouldn't be here today if it weren't for the Fundamental Theorem of Calculus. Now, there's a problem. The Fundamental Theorem of Calculus is very difficult to apply because you have to solve what is called a differential equation, a very basic one, in order to apply the fundamental theorem. But this can be quite difficult. And in fact, sometimes it's impossible. Now, I'm going to assume you don't know very much math, so you just have to take my word for that. But it's a fact that any one math teacher can tell you. Now, what is called calculus one or differential calculus is actually pretty easy but it's totally inadequate for modern science and engineering. The fundamental theorem is what's absolutely required. And that is what is taught in what is called integral calculus. And that is usually called calculus two. So if you go to a school, calculus one differential calculus, really pretty easy. Most students can get through it, but calculus two can be quite a barrier. Now, any good STEM math teacher knows this. And I personally witnessed it for many years, both first as a student, struggling with it as a student, and then as a professor where I taught it for many years in various schools, including an engineering school. Okay, now that's sort of the background. Now, what is this thing I'm calling the WA miracle? Well, WA is just the one as an abbreviation for what is called Wolfram Alpha. Now, Wolfram Alpha is an absolutely amazing, fantastic tool that was introduced to the world in 2009. So this is a 21st century tool. It was introduced by a guy named Stephen Wolfram, who's a great theoretical physics genius. And what it is, what Wolfram Alpha is, it's a free computer program. It runs on a major computer somewhere and you have to access it over the internet. And it was written in Mathematica. Now Mathematica, was an extremely powerful programming language that was created by Wolfram back in the late 1980s, 1988. As a matter of fact, uh, if you are familiar with the iPhone and something called Siri on the iPhone, that's an application of Wolfram Alpha. Now Mathematica, this powerful programming language that Stephen Wolfram developed was actually a tool that was used then to create the World Wide Web. Steve Jobs had it embedded on what he called his next computer in the early 1990s. Steve Jobs and Steve Wolfram were close friends. They knew each other well. They helped each other a lot. And indeed, uh, there wouldn't be an iPhone if it wasn't for Wolfram Alpha. And there wouldn't, uh, and, and in fact, I believe that, well, Wolfram Alpha would have still existed, but that was what really made it famous. Now, Wolfram Alpha is a tool that makes applying the fundamental theorem to solve any kind of a STEM math problem very easy. That's the really the miracle. Wolfram Alpha is this tool, and it just makes applying the fundamental theorem of calculus very, very easy now instead of very, very difficult. So if you take calculus two, and if you rank it on a difficulty scale of one to 10, before Wolfram Alpha, it was about an eight. In fact, that flunked more kids out of engineering school than anything else that I know of. With Wolfram Alpha, the difficulty is down to a two. It's very easy now. So the fundamental theorem is no longer a barrier for STEM students. If they've learned to use Wolfram Alpha, now Wolfram Alpha is like any tool, you've got to learn to use it. So what we've done in our six tier program that I'm calling metaphorically magic carpet math because it's all, you watch my videos on my on the magic carpet concept. It's a six tier math program. And what we do then in this is a six tier program. What I've done 
is I use Wolfram Alpha to start teaching a student pre-calculus subjects at the depth that they need for STEM, algebra, geometry, analytical geometry, trigonometry, complex numbers, and so on. And then, of course, calculus, and then finally differential equations. Never taught in high school today, but it can be now because of Wolfram Alpha. Differential equations, in case you don't know, are their workhorses of science and engineering. Uh, calculus is a tool that's used to analyze functions. Differential equations is a tool that's used to create functions and discover what the functions are. Now, any school today that teaches their STEM students Wolfram Alpha is going to be vastly superior to any school that does not do so for their STEM students. Now, that's just a fact of life that we live in today in this 21st century. Well, I've created something called the STEM Math Club. I'm, I'm Dr. Dell. My students call me Dr. Dell, so I call it Dr. Dell STEM Math Club. And this will empower any school to teach its STEM students Wolfram Alpha. That's what the club does, really. It gives them access to all sorts of training. That's why I call it Magic Carpet Math, because it's like it's over the Internet. It's like a magic carpet. And what this will do for your STEM students, it launches them into the 21st century way of studying science and engineering using this tool. I'm going to give you a little simple example if you know a teacher there locally. Apply the fundamental theorem of calculus to find the area under the curve of a function sine of x squared from x equals 1 to 3. Do that. Now, this might be a typical engineering math problem but it's extremely difficult to do manually. In fact, uh, you won't find this in any calculus book because it's too difficult to do manually. But yet it could be a typical engineering math uh, problem. And Wolfram Alpha just does it easily. You just put it into Wolfram Alpha and boom, 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 and boy, you got the answer. In fact, the, the antiderivative that you need to find to apply the fundamental theorem is called a Fresnel integral. It's a special function. So you'll, and any competent math teacher will, is going to know this. I'm talking about a STEM math teacher now. I don't think you'll find this problem in any calculus book because it's much too hard the old way. They had to rig up the problems in the calculus book so they could do it manually. And most of the problems that you have to do in science and engineering, you can't do manually. That's the problem. And Wolfram Alpha does it for you. Now, if you really want to fully appreciate this, go to um, stemmathmadeeasy.org slash club. That's where you're going to learn all about the STEM Math Club. And there you're going to be able to take, uh, there's a link to take what I call the STEM Math Challenge. It's, it's just a test of questions that would come up in STEM that are very difficult to do manually. You probably can't do them manually, but with Wolfram Alpha, they're very easy to do. And so this is a way to find out how valuable this thing will be. Uh, it's a very easy test if you know how to use Wolfram Alpha. But if you don't know how to use Wolfram Alpha, then it's a very, very difficult test. Now, what you can do is start a Dr. Dale STEM Math Club. It doesn't cost you anything to start one. In fact, you get some things for free to start to prove that how valuable it really is. And then you get your students involved in it, anyone that's interested in STEM. And I will tell you something. If a student learns how to use Wolfram Alpha and to do the math that's needed for science and engineering, then they go to a good science and engineering school, they're going to have a huge advantage over students that haven't been taught that. So the sooner they learn it, the better. And as a matter of fact, students can start learning to use Wolfram Alpha and, and doing these things as early as freshman and sophomore years. I've got students that are 15 years old now that understand calculus and differential equations because of Wolfram Alpha. The old manual way is much more difficult. Well, I invite your school leaders to contact me if you want to talk about this and, and, and find out more about it. Uh, we can have a Zoom meeting. I do Zoom meetings a lot. I'm doing this video with Zoom, as you might imagine. And you can contact me. Here's my contact information. Um, I'm Craig Hain. I have a PhD in mathematics, as you might imagine. I've taught math at all levels from uh, basic workforce math all the way up through the kind of math you use in quantum theory and so on, like Hilbert spaces and things. Anyway, I'm the founder of a company called Triad Math Inc. And we're the ones that's the company that's put this on. Uh, here's my contact information. You go to my website, craighain.com, and you'll learn all about me. My VTOS there, you'll learn all about me. My email address is my name, craighain.com. 
Uh, I got that email address by 25 years ago, by the way, <laughs> when the world, even before the World Wide Web came along. And it's my phone number. You can call me, but email is probably the easiest way. Set up a Zoom meeting and we get together. So this is Craig Hain. If you're the leader of a school, then I, I highly encourage you to, uh, if you have STEM students, then I highly encourage you to start a Dr. Dale STEM Mac Club. It's just... Um, will give your students such an advantage that otherwise they'll, they, they won't have. And so that's really what this was all about. This may be the most important video that I can uh, share with you uh, simply because of the opportunities that it will give you to help your students. So this is Craig Hay. Maybe I'll see you on a Zoom meeting and hopefully you'll get a Dr. Dell STEM Mac Club started. Bye-bye.